Hello everybody, I am Bones, welcome to No Man's Sky, the series, we're, uh, I think I said, I did a let's play of No Man's Sky before, but it was nowhere near as big as this whole series is now. So now that they've gotten multiplayer out of the way, they're doing all this, they basically made everything on each planet procedurally generated, we're gonna take a look at what's new, what's not. That's a pretty planet I'm on, at least. Uh, they have totally redone clouds. Now, instead of just doing each planet having its algorithm, now each plant on planets and each animal on planets has its own algorithm, along with the planets, meaning a massive variety. We didn't have it before. Apparently, there's a bunch of new elements that I get to discover. Yay! And, uh, they've also reworked how they do things, and, as you'll see in a second here when the game starts, new, new camera views. Now, if you don't know anything about No Man's Sky, the story, you crash land on a planet. The planet is, uh, apparently random. I do like my backpack there. It looks like there's some flashy lighties. I like my suit. I think I will keep it this color, because you can actually customize you now, guys. Oh, I'm not hearing this shit right now, guys. Oh, okay. Cannot build missing components. Story of my life, bro. Alright, so what is this? So there's a fast signal booster. Da, da, da. Whoa. A repair scanner damage. Why did I get the. Why did I get that? I don't know what's, what's about or why I got that already. But if you look here, you will see there are three units of money now as well, instead of one. Instead of one. So I am, uh... I am on this one thing. Now this they need to fix here. I don't know what the deal is with that is, but we'll, we'll figure that out later. Um... I know it's always falling. Don't mess with me, game. Don't mess with me. First of all, let's make sure my network stuff is on. Everything is on or off. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. That'll fix that. I don't know. Um, graphics options. A mess. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, and you know, we're just we're just gonna move it. Scanner is critically damaged. So I need to get some. All right. That's for feral dust. Feral dust. That's to the pharaohs. Oh shit. We, we might want to look into fixing my suit up before I mess with this. Okay, I need sodium, sodium nitrate, or an iron battery. So if I see any plant that looks like it may have sodium, that's probably important. Uh, first off, though, is I'm gonna need uh, the pharaoh I can use. So we're almost done getting that, I think. There's a dog on my lap coming for the journey today. Um, and then after that, we're going on our own journey and taking our, our boat out, our, our little boat out to water, which is sort of like the same equivalent in the form that it's not at all. Uh, first off, let me go and get. It's gonna be yellow. There we go. We need this shit, so we're gonna go get some of this first. I'm gonna worry about the rest of this stuff, right? We need some sodium rich plants right here. Uh, there's some really cool looking plants around here, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know what these are. These are made out of carbon. I'm gonna zap one of these because carbon, one of the big building blocks of the universe. We're made out of carbon, if you don't know. We're carbon based life form. Most beings on, uh, on our current planet Earth are. And I say our current planet because according to uh, the genius that is... Oh, check that out. So we can just use sodium and get up and boom. So I feel like that's as important as anything else I'm doing right now. Oh shit, sentinels. Sentinels? No, I don't want to play with sentinels. Sentinels are basically the dicks of the galaxy. These guys are jerks. They run around and they try to mess with you. And uh, I do not like them. They are, they are dicks. So right now, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, fuck off, Sentinel. 
Leave me be, son. There is a uh, starship. <laughs> Alright, first off, let's take a look at my XLC here. Now, much like the old game, we can create things. And I do know, uh, I've heard that you need, obviously, you can make the technology there. Oh, the advisor! So now, instead of just having a normal thing that's a visor, what do I need to build if you're a bulk caster? Because that one I like. I don't know what the fuck chromatic metal is, so I guess we're gonna find that one on our own, aren't we? Let's change the name of our multiple, by the way, to, uh, Zappy. It's a dinky little thing, so it gets a dinky little name. How about that? How about them apples? Now, if you guys remember, Although this is cool, they changed how the scanning works. It looks a lot better now. Really? There's no way that was not on purpose. It's called Ash Holium, but I'm sure that somebody has done this. But that's not the internet at its core right there. Uh, being dickheads, and I don't know what it is. Cause you and me both know, if you let the internet get away with anything, they're just gonna do it up when you made your ass on this, so. Uh, and that is not, like, speculation. That is years of seeing the work of internet jerks uh, do ridiculously awful things to each other. Innocent people, you name it. Um, I should be actually giving a nod to the upper echelon of the internet which was the original Inner Circle, which was, uh, I believe anyway, and this has been debated, but I've always heard that the Upper Echelon was actually 4chan, um, something awful, originally Reddit, Fark, and then uh, Fark got replaced with the Onion for a while, and then but some people de debate that. But there was like this Inner Circle of internet sites that all news you read, all memes that were created, it came from one of these other sites. And that's what it was, basically. Now I'm scanning the shit out of everything I can, because all of this stuff is important, and you will receive... I don't know what the hell this flew me over there. Oh god, there are more of them! Dude, I hate Sentinels. Sentinels really are the dickheads of the universe. They are basically cops. Every planet has these sentinels. They're kind of like a guardian. So what they do is, uh... They don't like it if you play too much on their planet. If you play around with stuff, you're going to catch their eye, whether or not you want to. It appears I can tag things now, too, and that's pretty cool. And yes, I know the coordinates are received. Shut up, thing. I'm working on this shit first. I'll work on your shit after me. Deal with it. Okay, that one was unidentified and I blasted it. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I sound angry. I'm not really angry, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm actually doing. Okay. So let's get up here first. It's a big ass tree, eh? Okay. I'm also noticing that more plants are, uh, yeah, I did have to figure out how to do this, by the way, guys. Um, you can go through here, for example, and do things like gestures, photo mode, utilities, you have apps to select, change weapon, toggle torch, toggle camera view, so boom! Just that easy, I'm back to the old-fashioned uh, camera that I like and know. Uh, it's not that I don't like third person. I think it's an interesting look for this game. I just personally, I've always been a first person guy for these games because I want to be me. Uh, uh, although speaking about that, I feel like I should talk about this for a minute. Apparently we're going to be able to change, and I personally don't know, but apparently we're going to be able to change almost everything about how we look. Um, and I mean just about everything from 
what we look like to others to what race we decide to play as, but we can actually play as like one of the little alien races like the Ducks or any one of them. Uh, and if you don't know who any of them are, hi! Welcome to the game. You have a lot to learn. Um, because holy cow, you should know that shit. I'm just messing with you, but no really, you should know that shit. Alright, so, one thing you can do here, it would appear, is I can actually, no, go back there. So I can pick mining beams, and then charge it that easy, that I like, that I like. Um, I feel like my, uh, my one thing here though, I don't like how the status protection is not doing great. I need to find a better source of stuff to get. You know how I could do that? I could not be a lazy asshole and actually scan the planet again. That would probably be smart, wouldn't it? Like, oh, look there. This, see? There's shit right there. So we're gonna go grab this. Uh, hazard stuff seems to be... I know, woman. Knock it off. Uh, first of all, this seems to be a much more important thing than it used to be. I do like the way the scanner works now. It gives you a lot more... Um information on things, and I feel like, ooh, look at all these animal spells. You actually get, uh, some weak here, you do, from, from doing that with the animals. Um, yes, they're all one kind, they're running my cow. Thanks, guys, thanks, although, I, should I not be worried about what they're running from, maybe? Buried technology module. Uh, ship, I'll be with you in a minute. I may have just found something horribly important. That is a cool looking plant. Although it looks like Cthulhu had a baby with some other thing. I don't know. So I to go over to. Look. I'm not playing. First of all, let's go and. The starship can wait a damn minute. I'm looking at buried plans here, baby. Where are those buried plans? Where did I see that ship? Sodium deposit. Very technology module. We're gonna try the tagging thing. So we're gonna tag that. And then we're gonna run toward it. And again, that sentinel can bite me. I don't care about it. He's a dick. Oh, shut up with that. I literally just charged the effing radiation protection. Um, anyways, don't. Please don't take this out of context, guys. I am actually rather enjoying this update, I think. It's exciting, and this could be the biggest thing that No Man's Sky is going for it right now, is it feels like it is overwhelmingly huge now. And yeah, overwhelming is not always a great thing, but this was a game that had, let's be honest, it was more barren than Paris Hilton's line of jokes, alright? There was nothing there. And now at least they've given it something. So that could be good. We're gonna take a look here and see what happens. Um, man, these planets are something. The planet work that they've done is pretty, pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, is that here? Yes, it is. How do I get down to that? I don't know. I don't know. Are you the thing I don't know about? You are. Let's get into it. Anxious, but you seem nice. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so first things first. Let's go to our damn ship because the game's going batshit crazy for us to go to the ship, so let's do that. Uh, I'll figure out how to get to that very mad one soon. Maybe there's like a mining... I, can I just mine into the ground maybe now? I don't know. You're a silkdom, covered in tiny eggs. You're carbon-based. Melcillium. There's no way that somebody would not have fun with this, or... I don't know. Well, Melcillium is carbon-based, I feel like. Uh, I mean, come on, dude. There's, somebody had him to name this shit. Seriously. One of these plants is named something like, uh, Funk something, and 
Come on, man. Not that dumb. Somebody got the name of this shit, right? Now, the way this game works is typically you get to name your own stuff as well. I plant attack me because plants are dicks. I don't know what plant did it, but I know a plant did it. But finally, we are nearing some semblance of safety, so let's see what this is here. This is my ship, the pillar. Sweet Jesus, I am not reading that number, but it says iteration, blah blah blah. Online, Atlas connection imminent, launch thrusters offline, post engine offline, access seat has directed me to crash starship, the controls are to my touch. I can only assume it belongs to me, I have no memory of it. Da, 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 da. Okay, log, unavailable, sense of feeding data, access seat connected. I should perform maintenance select desired repair path. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Radio. So let's take a look at the ship here. Do not have pure ferrite. Do not have metal plating. We're going to try crafting products. I can craft some metal plating and I can craft some dehydrated and whatever. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to ship something different to you. We'll call this, um, the Bones Mobile for now. And you'll notice this has a class. Each one of these has a different class, guys. Uh, a, B, and C, and S is the best, if I remember. Alright, so let's see what I do. So we're gonna leave. And the game has now officially saved itself. Uh, fetch metal plating it in the pie. Oh, this is new as well. Before you couldn't do that. Before you had to have like everything at once, but it looks like now they will let me repair different things uh, on their own. So I can do repairs and stages now, which is pretty cool. Alright, so now we are going to see more vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Recommendation, hetero comparison for medical seal, if it does, so much navigation beacon, distress, beacon teach. I do remember there was a distress beacon in this game. I think it's here because this also acted as the start to the story. Hmm. Navigation data. Yes. Yeah, Plug of the torch and quick mode. Fast. And for one thing, we're going to talk to the part from the location of the new. We're also going to go ahead and deal with that. Um, Radiation protection. Don't even start that bullshit. I don't need it. Uh, no, no, nope. yes. I don't like whatever I'm Stupid ass of the summons. Uh, these sentinels drop me. Got a signal booster. So there's other things I can do. See, summon vehicles. Now I remember when summon vehicles was a big deal. I, I loved it. So X brings up this menu. And then you hit F. So I can hit that and then my torch is on. So that's pretty cool for my so we're gonna leave that on. And then Z is build. So I need metal plating and carbon nanotubes. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. First let's uh, apparently craft the product. I need ferrite dust and I need more carbon. So Let's look around and see what's what. C plus, I believe, is carbon. 
or a program language, one or the other. Trapper deposit. Trapper deposit. My favorite kind of spooky. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and wait on these things to get some carbon. I don't know why I'm gonna do that. But uh, this thing here, you know, I don't want to suck. I need whatever this is. It is huge for one thing. And that is a big ass uh, Anyway, so this is gonna be our new series, guys. Right here. Uh... Oh. So that is gonna be our new series on this game. Um, I'm not naming anything yet until I can get this stuff done. If I do anything off camera, it's basically just gonna be fixing whatever the hell is wrong with my, uh, it not wanting to connect me. I have a little extra with that is when I collect things normally. That's a, it's precautionary, but that's the way I am. Yoink. Right. So. Top right can kiss my ass. Top right is basically poop. I'm not kidding you all, you can look it up. It's basically poop. Um, nanotubes, and I think that's what I need. So we will construct a thing. Right here, a Z. It's pretty cool looking. You can change the material color. What the hell is this place? And then we're going to use this. I do like that I can see myself now, that's pretty neat. Input one navigation data. You select a task. There's a there's a dog on the left. Oh. I am not shaking. I don't know if you can see it's itching his ear. Ooh. Now we had that before, but I feel like it did not look that good. Now it looks much better. It's much more flashy. Um, so I guess I'm going that way. Uh, uh well, pick up. I can pick it up. Remember to pick up the signal booster. That is also new. We couldn't pick up things like that before. You're just stuck with them. So I like that. I like that better because I feel like now I can't. I that's a tool I have instead of just a piece of machinery that I just leave got on a planet that I'm never going to use again. Then now I feel like that means something to have that thing. Um, so, basically in this you can personalize yourself something that was promised ages ago, now they're doing these things. And look, I know a lot of people are pretty pissed at them, with good reason, let's be honest. I'm not going to lie and say that. It isn't what it is. What it was was the wool being pulled over the eyes of players. But there's another game I've let's played, and I won't say names. What the fuck is that? A super cell. Hey, right, little dickhead, you're done. I don't think so. Um, no, but basically. This other company, the game they've done, uh, due to a lawsuit, we'll just say, they have claimed it's due to a lawsuit, and I'm going to be honest with you all, it's not. Um, I think it's just being lazy, frankly. And that's going to piss them off, I really don't care. It is by far not a, a lawsuit issue, and I know, because I know people on both sides of the fence on this one who have flat up said, Including both people involved have admitted that they could give a shit less. Um, about the games and it doesn't affect their lawsuit and they care less about it. So, shame, shame, know your name. 
company out there is claiming that's why they haven't done updates in Canton. No, it's out of our hands. We just can't do it anymore. Uh, but the truth is, it's a bunch of bullshit, and I don't believe everything that you read. And I'm not going to be nicer about it than that, because frankly, it affects people like you and me who trust companies like this to deliver the product that we pay for, and they don't. They don't deliver it at all. And somebody's got to be held accountable for that shit. And uh, it can't be me or you. We're not the company who makes the game, are we? So, at the end of the day, who do you who do you hold accountable for? And again, I know a lot of people that have been like, Oh, well, give them some slack. They're trying, but... Bullshit. Now, the reason I bring that up is very simple. You have a company like this, you could have basically told everybody, haha, we got your money anyway, I thought. Um, and instead they did something I didn't think they'd do, but I'm impressed with, and that is that they basically made good on the, on the game. They, they have taken and eaten crow and what's be honest, people have called them every upward, every name of the book, and they've taken it, and they know they deserve some of it. Uh, for lying to people. I don't think they lied, I think they were too ambitious. But I do think they should have told people the moment they realized they weren't going to be able to do this stuff. I think gamers had a right to know then. And I think it was deceptive not telling them that. However, to their credit, they are making up for it in spades here with redoing worlds, redoing this, redoing that, redoing everything. Making the game everything they promised people it would be in steps. Uh, and I would rather they did that, because like you saw earlier, I, for example, cannot seem to connect to uh, others as far as that goes. And I will get to the bottom of that, and then on the next Let's Play, we will be uh, online and booging. I will promise you that. So if there's anything done off screen, there will be minor things probably done off screen in between episodes. I might show the game off here and there a little bit. Um, I'm not going to lie to you about that. That will probably happen because it is gorgeous looking and it's not that it wasn't before, but it looks a lot better than it ever has, that's for sure. I don't know if I can still do this, but I know at one point it used to be able to scan it. There's something over there. What are we doing? Oh, you're a big boy. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. He's a big boy. Are you friendly? Utterly romantic. The, the ones that are bad are when you are like, Oh, he's so cute. And then they beat the shit out of you. Because you didn't bother reading the notes that say aggressive or, you know, nervous. And then you get too close to him. And then they're like, Pitch back it up. And... So that stuff happens. So basically what we're doing on this episode of Bones and Gary, uh, No Man's Sky, is we're doing this stuff. If you follow, there's no one making this recording in case, leaving behind, and the fabricator might be of some use. Beds are damaged, can't find shit. I'm covering the life finishes, and the machine works the life spitting out supplies. I had the hermetic seal, I need to repair my shit. Where was it? Led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they know find themselves in the same situation I do. So now all of a sudden I'm an epping philosopher. Look, I don't care. Let's just get the F out of here and go back to the ship. What's up, baby? Check you out here, kind of cute, eh? So he's a cute little fella. I don't know what he does, but as long as he's not trying to gnaw my head off, then we're alright, you me. So you can see here, uh, you need some different things in order to get you need to get. Now is there a back to my ship location on thing in the harbor? There should be. There it is. I travel okay, quite a ways already. Oh god, I don't really care. We're, we're gonna make this. I just told a non sentient voice to blow. I think my day is complete. Kind of a dick move on my part, I'm not gonna lie. Well, that's a kind of pretty one, isn't it? No, I didn't even know I completed a mission. There you go. It's completing shit all over the place. I don't know. 
Um, now, let's be honest here. What is your guys' opinion? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are they doing enough? What would you like to see added as a feature to No Man's Sky that they have tackled that you feel like they should not uh, be ignoring? If you feel like they're ignoring. Uh, do you feel like they're doing it right? Are they improving? Are they impressed to you? Are they, uh, do you feel like, no? Like, I was reading, uh, on these Steam forums, one person was like, I can't believe you fools! We're giving them... But, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Look. For a company to come back from the brink and say, look, we effed up. We know we effed up. I'm sorry. We're fixing this. That takes guts. Because they could have just as easily gave us the middle finger uh, as gamers. And like I said, there's another company doing that right now to people. Uh, and I was a kickstart backer on their game. So you can imagine I'm a little pissed. And they're basically saying, oh, right, well, it's... Meanwhile, one of them uh, is a guy in the middle of being sued who has said that he gives a shit less about what they do with the game content or the games he doesn't care it's not going to land them in any hot water with him the other guy of course is not going to see them because he has sunk money into the games so it would be counterproductive for him to be mad so it really comes down to it is and uh this is probably going to get me banned from the game but i really don't care i really do not care because i'm telling you all the truth about it and that is the one thing that I did promise that I would always do for all you listeners out there and Bones fans, that yes, both people involved have more to lose by helping the advancement of, say, new features, new... See, I'm trying to be careful to not say the name, because I'm trying to be not to be that much of a dick about it, but... I know for a fact that the company itself is basically just pulling, not this one, the one for the other game I'm using as an example of what this game is not doing. This other company is taking their money and running. Uh, Hello Games, on the other hand, is taking No Man's Sky and actually delivering, slowly mind you, but they are delivering what they promised us they would deliver. And as a gamer who has seen my fair share of smoke screens, people BSing, um, blowing smoke up our ass, it is very nice to find a company who is willing to say, yes, we screwed up, we should not have done this. And now they're fixing this. Um, so that that's... I mean, I'm just gonna say it, that's really, that's doing something. Well, Alright, baby. No, 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 no. Construct a portable refiner to pass this. Okay, how about you construct my ass? Oh, that. Well, I already did the one thing in there. Come on, man. So there's my signal booster. And then the 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 Um Did I not already? I thought I already. Let me check the search. Okay, repaired. So pure ferrite. Ferrite. So I need to build a refiner. How do you knock it off? Okay, so metal plating. So let's see if I got enough metal plating. I didn't need to do that. I don't know if I did it that way. That's kind of dumb. Right? Uh, the metal plating, I can make them. No, I can't make metal plating. I'm going to need your ferrite dust. Alright. So, first, I need ferrite dust. I have to steal it. Hey, piss off with that. It's a copper's run. Alright. I think I just bunny held my way through that. I don't know. So we're gonna build this here. This thing is being a dick. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, well look at that. So you hold this down, you can change the color. 
wood, stone, rust, concrete. I kind of like, uh, I kind of like wood. It's still pretty good, it's Yeah, let's be real. Let's, uh, let's build this sucker. Well, yeah, now you can't build it, because you've already built it. Deal inverter, input. Transfer items. Do I have any? Okay, so I don't have anything to buy. Let's go get ourselves some uh, ferrite dust. Is this a big ferrite rock? No. If it is, I read that wrong. Oopsie. But at least this uh, refiner now, I can actually grab and reuse it, so that part's good. That's good. I can lie, I'm a little worried there about those little sons of bitches in the sky. I don't want them hopping down and trying to get my own stuff. Alright, Dust. We're also learning how to make new things, which is important too, I feel. So we're gonna go and grab some ferrite dust, at least a hundred or so. Um, and just refine them all now, because I may not have the chance later, guys. And I would rather get this shit done now. I don't know if the stacks work the same way, but they used to do a stack of like 250, and that was as much as you could stack. I do know when you play with other people that drop in or out, um, and a few of my friends are my friends left on this game, so we may, you may see them as well uh, doing this and playing this with me. You may see some multiplayer. I want to get some multiplayer going on this eventually, so you guys can see it and enjoy it. So do count on that. Of course is my fuel. So what fuel do I need? Right. There we go. So now we will do begin. Alright, now that's pretty cool. Working in the morning. Alright, so we have a machine jumping around, doing some uh, break dancing for me. That thing is pretty badass. I'm, not gonna... I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't think to make my uh, my skin thing look better. Oh, I might be able to actually repair that one with if I have any leftover pure ferrite. She's done, I think. Oh, blow me. I mean, I don't literally mean blow me. I'll just knock it off, please. Alright, so. Uh, can, can I just can I pick it up as is? Yes, I can. So, that's pretty cool. Now let's go in here. Boom. We're going to repair our launch thrusters. I'll be damned. We got ourselves a ship, people. Alright. Near space asteroid fields. And this one is starship launch field or whatever. So, what do I need to make Starship launch fuel? I just need metal plating. Metal plating, I just need ferrite dust. So, I have enough for now. But, uh, this is pretty cool. Before I do this, we are going to go back and see if I can pop that one thing up. I have any leftover ferrite. Pure ferrite in the main tank. Alright, sweet. Now, what, what happens here? What do I get? I get nanite clusters instead. It's kind of underwhelming, I guess. Uh, Alright, so, discoveries. And again, uh, I don't know why I need... I'll get to the bottom of this, fellas. Ladies, everybody. Discovered. So, this is discovered by me. 
so I don't know yet. Uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna stop it. Uh, we're gonna stop it here for the first one. I am going to figure out what's going on. So we're gonna save it. We're gonna half out. There we go. Let me just check the time to make sure that I correctly assess this. I have. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'll be sure to subscribe. This is one of I don't know how many. Oh, fine, what you're not going to see is I'm probably going to roam the planet a little more before we take off from here. Gather some more resources, and then we'll come back and take off together. And start our journey into the sky. I'm also going to fix this weird offline issue. I don't know what to do. This oh, shush, lady. Okay, so, subscribe if you haven't. Give us a like. Give us your comments and thoughts about this game and other games. You know, which companies are you happy with? Which companies do you feel are improving? Can this company turn this game around and redeem itself? Has it? Let me know in the comments. I'm Bones, this is No Man's Sky, thank you guys very much for watching.